Herzlich willkommen bei den Cargo Bike Lovers. Mein Name ist Julian und heute sind wir in Harlem in den Niederlanden. Harlem, da kommt Tenno 7 her. Und Tenno 7 ist so, wir sind jetzt eine Woche vor der Eurobike, also Ende Juni, hat was Neues. Und das ist ziemlich interessant, vor allen Dingen, weil, ja, seht selbst. Ich habe mir den Daniel eingeladen und Daniel werde ich jetzt mal interviewen, was es so alles Neues gibt. Ich hoffe, es ist in Ordnung, dass wir auf Englisch sprechen. Für all diejenigen, die es nicht verstehen, wir werden Untertitel einblenden. Viel Spaß! Hi Daniel! How are you? Nice to see you. Fine, thanks. Thank you for coming by. Yeah, thank you for having us. Let's speak about these bikes. And uh, let me show you our beautiful new electric bike. We are really curious to find anything out about this bike we can and uh, first of all we'd like to start with the shape uh, what is the name of the bike so the name of the bike we name it uh, 1007 unicorn family e-cargo bike so that is a pretty decent explanation of what we see <laughs> yeah so the reason we choose this name and the reason uh, we design it it's uh, We want to address to families, families who usually, and you not usually, but sometimes people, they have different heights in the family and they want to ride the same bike, especially a cargo bike. And uh, I just became a father, so I want the same thing. I want my wife to use the cargo bike with uh, my daughter and myself. So we, this, this design, it's perfect for, for families and uh, Uh, we are very happy how it came out. Uh, so, Daniel, you're now a father of a wonderful daughter, and uh, your situation is like that. You're living in the city, uh, having um, yeah a child, so you're one of those target persons. Exactly. I target myself, basically, yeah. So, uh, this bike address mainly to families. We try to reach uh, as many family uh, uh, as possible. One important thing, this is one size frame, so one size fits all. We have a range between 1.5 to 2 meter uh, tall people, so it's quite a big range. And the design, it's made in a way, in the moment when you, when you raise the handlebar and the seat, po so the seat post, they go forward from each other, so it creates more space for taller people or when you put them down, it creates uh, less space for um, uh, for shorter people in order to reach the handlebar perfect. We know the three sizes of the unicorn. We know the S, M, L sizes, exactly. which is now uh, one size fit, fits all for the e-bike. Yes, exactly. And um, there are minor changes we can see as well. Yes. So uh, please tell us, what did you change other than the putting a motor to the bike? First, we saw so the, the engine is Uh, is the main uh, main thing. Um, the second thing is the design of the the, the mainframe. Uh, we have now option for bell drive. We have a new fork that it's uh, accommodating bigger tires, and we have some accessory that we we want to present uh, that we are very very proud of them yeah. talking about geometry it's not just the steps through frame you change the wheelbase you change the angles a bit so it's a one size fits all frame yes. so uh, maybe you can show us uh, in in detail what yes. you mean by that so the the wheelbase change uh, a little bit because you need to accommodate the bracket for the engine so the the rear wheel move with uh, 20 millimeter backwards uh, for that reason uh, the geometry of the bike um, in the previous in the the normal bikes that we have without the engine uh, the geometry is a little bit more uh, sportive so the the seat post seat tube Uh, and the head tube for the handlebar, they have the same angle. Uh, but in this case, uh, the seat uh, tube and the uh, handlebar tube, they have different uh, geometry for, for, the reason, for one reason. When they go up, they go forward from each other, so they, they create more space for taller people or, 
and there is them. The wheelbase, yeah, the, the wheelbase is just a little bit longer, but not very noticeable. So, Daniel, let's have a quick uh, walkthrough, uh, beginning in the back. We yeah. find a 28-inch uh, wheel. Same, the same wheel that we use in, uh, in the, the other model of bikes. Uh, 28 on the back, 20 on the, uh, on the front. Uh, what is new here is we have a uh, new partnership with SKS, so we have new mudguards design, special for us, with some interesting features. Um, we have on this case the, the belt drive uh, system from uh, Gates, uh, and we are powered on the, the, the gears from Nexus 5 with the... Uh, the, the, the shifting, it's electronic on the, on this case, uh, powered by the battery and the engine. Electronic shifting in combination with Shimano motor always uh, means that you have uh, automatic shifting. Exactly, exactly, yeah. The, the Shimano comes with this feature, automatic shifting. So if you, if you want uh, to don't have no headache, you can just put an automatic and the bike is going to change uh, uh, as, like, you're gonna keep the, the, the new turn meter that you want and uh, it can always keep you there by changing the gears for you. That is really good and it's also a safety, uh, let's say, safety point uh, we can add to the bike. Um, other than having a motor and a, a nice internal hub shifting, uh, we see that we have some boxes, some wooden boxes here. The one on top, I know, I know good because I, I own one for my 1007 um, Unicorn non-electric but the lower one the so-called low rider you just introduced let yes. me ask uh, what is the idea of the low rider so the idea starts like this very simple we are thinking okay in the moment when you have a dog or you have a kid on the front how you use the cargo bike well, how you store your your backpack or you know whatever you have extra like grocery uh, because if you have a big dog, for example, it's gonna take the whole platform. So you don't really have space, you're not gonna put your grocery with the dog there, you know. So we were thinking, okay, what options you have on the bike? Of course, you can put a rack on the back, you can have uh, panniers, that is is very known solution. But we saw this space here between the, the front wheel and the pedal that is not used, it's something that is wasted in, you know, it's wasted, but... So we tried to find a solution and we came up with this idea of a lowrider and we used the same uh, manufacturer of our uh, top uh, box uh, with the same system. So it's a foldable box uh, and uh, the frame, the frame uh, is made uh, from steel, is made uh, here in Netherlands uh, by Steco. Uh, one of our company that we are working with, uh, we, we do the same, the rack for child, the rack, it's made by, uh, it's made here in Netherlands, we are very proud of that, yeah. And for those who didn't know 1007 Unicorn yet, the frame itself, the, uh, this label here says it, uh, the European label, so um, you are proud sourcing most parts uh, here in Europe. Yes, yes so the, the frames are made in Czech Republic. Uh, and uh, wheel sets, for example, we make them here in Netherlands. It's everything made in Netherlands from uh, sourcing the, the, the actually rims. Uh, so our manufacturer is making everything here, building them here. Majority of parts, engine, uh, brakes and everything there from Shimano. We have now some parts from Ergotech, made in Germany. So we, we try, uh, the boxes are made in Germany too. It's, uh, it's a very, very nice collaboration with, uh, with our German friend. Uh, we say hello to Michael. Uh, and uh, yeah, ma majority of stuff, they are made here in, uh, in Europe. And we try to keep that as much as possible. So uh, I like the idea of uh, sourcing locally. What is, what is different to the front part? Because I've seen some pretty nice details you changed yes. on the fork. Yes. So we want to, to have a bigger clearance on the fork and uh, we uh, make this fork a Unicron fork. It's quite known the, the name as Unicron uh, and uh, we make this, this fork that it can take quite big tires for probably 65 minimum, like it can take very easy uh, 65 millimeter. And one little details, um, the drop-outs, they are quite special. Uh, 
You can uh, change the insert from 15 millimeter to 12 millimeter. In, in uh, the future, we're gonna offer uh, the same fork to our normal bikes as an option. So people, they can order separately uh, the, the, this fork if they want to put bigger tire. But in the same time, if they want to customize and make a, a special build, they can choose to, to change the insert from 15 to 12 millimeter. 15 is our, um, our standard, but 12 millimeter, if you want to put a special hub that usually in 15, they are not that many variety, 12 is more used in the, uh, in the world. So you can change the, the insert. <laughs> now we have some guests here. Am Polen drin bleiben. Okay, now we've seen the specs, but we have a bike in front of us which is made for everyday commuting, I think. Yeah, and yeah. these special things you would um, normally just say, okay, we have uh, mud guards on the bike. Uh, you said, okay, we have mud guards. But they are just perfect. There are some details on the bike that, for majority of people, they might not matter, you know. But for geek people that they really want uh, some special things, they can make a difference. But we want to offer to everyone the opportunity to have, to have a very nice bike with a lot of interesting stuff on it. Uh, we even change on the on this. Uh, we have a different steering uh, tube. Now it's aluminium one with some nice uh, logo. Uh, the steering the steering arm. Sorry. Uh, so we, we make uh, some small changes there and there just to make the bike more interesting and more nice. Okay, let's have a closer look into the details. Starting with the rear mudguard. We see that uh, a lot of customers, myself also, uh, finding themselves in uh, rainy situations. Yes, so uh, we have a lot of feedbacks from uh, different people that they say, hey, uh, my kickstand is getting damaged or stuck by the mud and the rain when you ride it because it's it's actually on a, on a position where all the mud and rain it's it's coming into the the kickstand when when you ride so we chat with our friends from uh, sks and we came with this idea to make the the, the mud guard longer on this section to cover to protect the kickstand so this section you can say protector of the kickstand this is what is made it's all the water is not going in the kickstand and the mud is staying away too so this is the only thing it's doing uh, and it's a perfect fit there you don't hear it you don't uh, it is not when it, when you ride it it's not making no noise but it's making the uh, your life more easy so you don't have to change your kickstand that often Okay, and uh, combined with a Gates belt drive, um, yeah, you will have a mostly um, a mostly a bike which you don't have to uh, take care of that much. Yes, exactly. So, the the combination with the belt belt uh, drive, it's uh, it's very nice because, yeah, less cleaning of the chain and uh, less maintenance. And we have the Nexus Five, which is quite strong uh, hub and. Uh, yeah, it's it's made. The Nexus Five is made special to work with uh, with uh, uh, these engines. Ten oh seven. It's banana time. Means also it's geek time. Yes. Uh, this <laughs> this bike has so many details. It's it's hard to to tell uh, every little detail on it. I hope that I can get it in frame and and B roll. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's let's talk about the front mod guard, uh, which is also yeah. changed. Yes, so the front mud guard, we decide to use all the, the, the dropout hooks. So we make it longer to protect the frame or for rain the same. And we make a double, uh, double stay on each side and a longer mud guard. And it's way longer on the, black, on the back. Um, the SKS have this... Uh, a spoiler that is very flexible and very wide and it will protect you from water way way better so it's, it's very low even if you hit a curve it's not gonna break because it's quite flexible so you're gonna be well protected 
and uh, sure that the water is not gonna come on your feet. So yeah, here, as usually, we have our uh, hook for light. And in this case, it's a light that is powered by the engine and it's in a perfect position here. Uh, so it's protected from anything that can come from the front. So you don't hit it, you don't damage it. And it's, it have space for, for the wheels too. So you'll be, you'll be fine. Now we've seen one spec of the bike, which is uh, with the Nexus 5, but you will also offer a different um, gears? Option, yeah. yeah, so we have basically two options, one with belt drive and the uh, Nexus 5, and the other one is uh, with the Qs and the chain. So Qs, they, Shimano uh, say that the chain uh, is three times stronger than, uh, uh, than a normal chain, so that make, make this this uh, this one uh, way better uh, for this electric uh, engine so it's it, if i understand well they are designed to work together very well yeah we just rode the bike and i can tell you that uh, the cues uh, we've seen on other cargo bikes as well uh, with the external gearing is really a game changer because you just come to a stop at the traffic light and um, yeah it shifts while you're braking so it uh, turns the chain ring the front chain ring and in the back they uh, the gears are changed so it's a game changer for all those who want to have the good uh, external gearing which is nice and sportive and active and you have all these uh, different little steps uh, and yeah having the function of automatic shifting. Very nice and smooth and we use the 10 speed because 10 speed we think it's enough uh, and it's strong enough for, for, for this engine to work well. So in this case we have a cassette of a range of 11 to 43 teeth and um, yeah that gives you even with one by a good range for going up and down hills or uh, climbs and uh, yeah, even in a descent, you can pedal along. Okay, Daniel, one size fits all means that we have to somehow um, make it happen for every, for every rider. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So in this case, usually this bike, they're going to come with a 550 long seat tube, seat post, sorry. Uh, of course, you can uh, cut it shorter if you really want to go way down. Uh, but if you are tall, you're not going to need that, so you're going to be able to put it up, quite up. And uh, in the same time, we have this up and down uh, turn stem from uh, Ergotec that you can put it up to. So that will going to allow you to, to use the bike when you are very tall. And I was saying earlier, the geometry it's a little bit changed so the angles of the seat tube and the handlebar they are a little bit different so when they go up they go four from each other so you have more space uh, to to ride the bike so and, and this uh, this stem it's quite nice because you can even turn it so when you remove the platform as you guys know uh, this is with the removable platform you can turn your handlebar and uh, you can you can use very sh small spaces to to put your bike so if you like and have the opportunity just come by at eurobike in frankfurt which is now taking place and uh, we really like to invite you or daniel likes to invite you yes. to have a test ride and uh, you can not just test these two but also the non-electric version too yeah so Come and visit us at uh, Eurobike between uh, 3rd and 7th of July. Uh, we're going to be uh, on the tracking uh, uh, area, so on the testing area, at uh, Hall F11 and the boot uh, F38. Thank you, and uh, Thank you. I really like this bike, and Thank I hope so that much. a lot of people out there will be happy test riding it and maybe also buy it. So uh, if you like this video, just like and subscribe the channel and um, yeah, see you next time. Bye. Ciao.